Hi everyone, I'm Edit Bones Hatter. So here I am in Mid Valley. So before this, before this video, I, I believe you all have watched the risk video. If you haven't, just click on top here and you can see the, the video for risk. So now let's say example you have done all the risk exercise. Now what you need to do after you do all these things, make sure you do stretching. So a lot of people do a lot lot exercise, big big strength, but they don't have the flexibility. That's how a lot a lot of people got injuries and not enough cool down. And sometimes warm up so not well enough. So good. Here today I'm gonna to share to you more about risk. So here, now let's check it out. So wrist, our wrist, we are using it every single day for mouse, for pens, uh, you know, paperwork, keyboard, and all these things. So here, now what I need you to do is that you need need to stretch this part. Now I'm going to teach you these few techniques whereby you will feel numb. Don't worry, it will it will feel numb and feel very weak. Don't worry, it's, it's okay. You just do it for a moment period of time. After that, slowly you don't feel that much really. So and also as you guys know, I just stretch my wrist. So yeah, so this is a very very good stretching. So that time if you have folded before, if you haven't just folded the wrist. So what you need to do here now. This one, this is the easiest one. The one I taught you all. Here, just go down. go down. So you see, the more you go down, the more you can stretch. Now I don't have that much pain with really. it's just that not enough flexibility. So what I did to, to so fast recover within one month class of form ligament, I did all these stretchings and all this strengthening exercise with that right timing. And at the right timing and the right place. So um, if you want to try this at home, that is on, on your own risk, yeah? because this is called ligament. Unless you really understand what is your problem, or maybe you, we tell you what you need to do, you have done it correctly, and you have felt what you need to felt, but then you can do all these things. Yeah? And if not, that, that is all on your own risk. Yeah? Just let you know first. Okay. So what you need to do, this one here, this one I believe you all see, this one hold down just in case, and stretch. Now, when you stretch, you see this one, and this elbow, make sure you are straight. Straight already. Okay, you can just put it here. Straight, this one make sure it's straight. And then when you come down to here, this wrist, slowly you push to the front. But, at the same time, remember, your elbow must be straight. Elbow must be straight, yeah? If, let's say bend, you're not really stretching it. So, you gotta be straight, okay? This is one, and then two. Now, this is much more advanced already, yeah? to turn your elbow see I turn my elbow my elbow that, 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 that sharp point is facing to the back and this one here we go it to the front go it to the front we are also stretching here okay. stretch these two uh, maybe you can do it for 30 seconds or maybe one minute if you want to if you've got plenty of time if not 10 seconds to 15 seconds is enough so this is one okay now two here, this one done. You can do four sets per day. You want more up to you. So here. Ah, this one also open up the turn. Turn, make sure you see my elbow try to turn it to the front. Elbow turn it to the front, yeah? And then you try and you go down. Pull down here, you still the stretch here. That's correct you do. And you add, see how my body, yeah? My body try to add to the back. At the same time, keep your elbow straight. So yeah, hold it there, maybe 10-15 seconds, hold it there. Now, a lot of people tend to do what? They tend to do this. Don't. Make sure your wrist must be touching. And also, at the same thing, the elbow, so sometimes it bend. Try not to bend, make sure it's straight, okay? So good. This three stretch, after you do all those wrist exercise, is to keep back the flexibility. I we used to I, because I used to inject my wrist. How did I inject my wrist? Overuse, over exert force until our fingers cannot move, become trigger finger or hand numbness and all these things. So once with this stretching and release of all these points, you can actually eventually you can turn more all these things and it also help your elbow as well. So good. I hope you guys enjoy this video and. So, we have come an end to this video. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to like and subscribe and also share to your family members, to your loved ones who you think that will benefit from this. And may all these videos help you to keep yourself fit 
and may you have a good health, good posture at all times. Stay fit, stay strong. I'm Editor Bonesetter. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.